Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. We're going to take a look at Bitcoin, some of the altcoins, and some of the AI tokens as NVIDIA's conference is right upon us. And you can see that liquidity grab just happened on Bitcoin and Ethereum. We had a bit of a pullback today. So let us see what is in store for us. A good time to review. The market is going to be closing here, I believe. They just had a time change. So we got an hour and 16 minutes for Ethereum to pick itself up by its bootstraps. Um, or perhaps we are going to come down to uh, the buy zone at about 3600. <clears throat> what else do we want to take a look at? I'm going to go over a new altcoin, uh, a new meme coin that uh, I think might have some potential. Uh, again, this is not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but if you stay into the end, I will show you this coin that uh, looks like it's primed to go. But let's just kind of recap <clears throat> on Bitcoin, on what is going on here. The higher term time frames are still up. And what do you know? Another perfect buy off the green 55. It looks like uh, she is going to put in another higher low if we close anywhere here or higher on Bitcoin. Uh, the target, and we'll have to look at volatility, is going to be 75,197. That is the 1618 FIB. The second FIB coming in at 78,8. <clears throat> So uh, volatility is expanding and it's not really expanding from a low level. So again, um, the better plays in my opinion is when volatility is declining as you approach that green 55, that's typically where you get those continuation plays. And really when BBWP, the Bollinger Bandwidth percentile, when it's below 25 and declining, that's more of a perfect setup. But in general, you do expect some reactions off of that green 55. Wow, what a wipeout today. And <clears throat> after we've had a massive red day, um, sometimes you get a massive green day the next day. So interesting there. And uh, just honing back in on the next kind of uh, major buy zone is right there for Bitcoin around 54 to $50,000. Um, and now actually we can raise this box of peace and prosperity up and say that uh, the buy zones between 56 and 52,000, if we are going to get any kind of correction from this level, you can see uh, volatility has now expanded two times and uh, now is declining again. So this would be right in line with that green 55. If we do roll over, let's take a look at Nvidia, which Nvidia's conference is coming up on Monday. Had a bit of a bounce yesterday, maybe a consolidation. Uh, today is Thursday, so going into the weekend, will those AI coins start to fly? We'll take a look at the ones that I have on my list. I guess uh, now is as good a time as any as we went over Bitcoin, we went over Ethereum. And again, <clears throat> uh, let's see if that buy zone lines up with any of the fibs. That's pretty close to the 786. Um, you know, the first touch of the 21 is typically going to give you that reaction on the first pass. So I'm going to leave that box there. Ethereum is generally bullish right now. Another one I think uh, is worth keeping our eyes upon is Mr. Matic. As uh, <clears throat> Matic is going to be having some upgrades coming here soon that I think are going to benefit it um, and bring a lot of attention to it. And as we've noted in the past, you know, weak bounces come up to the 382, strong bounces are going to come up to the 0.5 and the 618. As long as we're below there, well, pressure is still down on... Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. Uh, but I would say the traps do come between the 618 and the 0.5, and I would suspect that we at least get a bounce up into that region over time. Not today, not tomorrow, but, you know, uh, in general, this has been one of the stronger coins in the market. Mr. Matic in the last bull run had a very, very massive run. Um, all right, getting down the list here, checking out the AI tokens. I've got quite a list here. 
in case you want to check any of these out. Um, but starting it off with Palm AI, Mr. Palm, some kind of a chat text box type thing. Uh, weekly is, I mean, there's no price action on this. So if it is going to bounce, this is going to be the bounce region. You can see a bit of a high, well, it's kind of a, you got a lower low, yeah, lower low and a lower low. So trend reversal on the four hour needs to break that trend to get back into, uh, you know, the bull zone, essentially the bull zone. So where could we expect some sell pressure right off the 0.5 in the 618? If we can do something like this, if you can see it bust through and put in that higher low, bang, I'd be looking for a shot up to the 1618. And that would be our buy zone uh, right around the not 0.5, uh, the not 0.5. And you're just looking for that higher low on the four hour time frame. That's going to look very good for uh, some continuation for Mr. Palm AI. Checking out render here, render the defender. Render, putting in a nice green uh, candle today, it seems like. Render up 3% near, which is going to be speaking at the conference. We'll take a look at that one next, but this would be our next buy zone uh, at the $10.25. If it does come in, I would expect a bounce off of that uh, 382 at the very least um, on the first pass. Okay, so render another AI type token near, which is going to be speaking at the conference, did put in a massive rally today. Mr. Near um, just keeps on going and going and going. So where do you expect those uh, traps to get put in is right at that 0.5 or the 618. Here is your 382 bounce. So this one tells me that we have more to go on Mr. Near. I do like that. Uh, generally uh, looking pretty bullish here. And <clears throat> what else? What else uh, do we have here? on the list. Oh, Penguin. I don't know if you guys remember, but I said, oh, I bought some Penguin coin. I guess it worked out and uh, continues to be bullish at the moment. The meme coins are absolutely ripping. Okay. Ocean coin again. Um, Mr. Ocean coin. I do like this one better than the other AI, uh, you know, tokens I'm looking at right there. You've got that W reversal right there. And um, essentially, we're just looking for that higher low now. Higher low um, and uh, a weak bounce is again up to the 382. So this one probably has a little bit more to go. Mr. Ocean Protocol. Whiff, Whiff hat. Whiff is the darling of this market as um, it is essentially taking the place of Mr. Bonk. And you can see it's been up and to the right for some time here on this one. The question is, is this a bull flag? Are we running out of momentum? Or are we running out of steam? I would at least expect a bounce. Actually, as long as we are closing above this pivot at 297, generally going to be bullish on this one. Um, and looking at this as a bull flag, massive bull flag. Uh, where would the target be on this one? Something like this. If we break back above the highs here, uh, big target up, 663. So um, something to keep your eye on in case you feel like jumping in the meme party. Fetch AI, putting in the bounce again, another AI token, and just a massive bounce today. After a very, very little pullback, I mean, it's hard to buy things like this that are so high right now. I'm personally not getting involved, but I thought it was at least worth some review. We can follow up on Monday next week. And here's the coin that um, I don't know if I got absolutely wrecked on or not. Pop Frog. Well, you cannot even get it on TradingView. It actually just came out today. And this little piece of uh, internet technology Highly speculative, highly, highly, I mean, very, very low market cap and, uh, you know, very, very low market cap. I don't even see actually on CoinGecko. 
Let's see if I can bring this up. Pop Frog. Here he is. So where can you get it? On DexTools.io. And uh, after a massive pump, actually, I think I bought it right here. It pumped and then dumped. So maybe I'm, I'm going to be on the receiving end of a massive red candle. Um, so far, I, I did not gain anything. Um, but this is, you know, rumor on the street. This could be one of the next meme tokens out there. Fully diluted market valuation at 550000 so market cap, uh, 550,000 under a million dollar market cap. Wow. What was I thinking on that one? Um, well, we shall see. We will follow up on that one in the coming days. And I think that's it for today, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.